Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I wanted to make a quick video regarding the ugly truth of those that do evil. And in doing that talking about a few examples. You see. Every single day. I literally mean every single day. You can look at the news and you can see all kinds of crazy and awful things happening. And guess who's doing all of this evil mess? People from every walk of life. And that includes every single gender. We have both men and women doing some horrible. And I do mean horrible things out there. Yet we still live in a society where you still see people marching in the street talking about how only women are victims of this crime or that crime. When in reality people are victims of these crimes. People. Let me stress again. People of all genders. Shapes. Sizes. Colors. And backgrounds can be and are victims of these crimes. And people of all genders. Shapes. Sizes. Colors. And backgrounds commit these crimes. Yet beyond reporting it. No one wants to dive deeper to pull up these facts. However. It seems all that anyone wants to talk about is how men are bad. How men are this. And how men are that. And sadly that reflects how men are treated when they are being abused and need help. And it affects good women. Because good women can't meet these good men because the good men are tied up with bad women being abused. And thus our society decays. You see because of these bias and lopsided ways the social engineers present things. Along with the laws. More and more good people are unable to connect. They are out there. But life has so many snares they are unable to connect. And as a result our society is in a tailspin. Here's example 1. A 25-year-old South Carolina school counselor Ken Lee Prendergast. Who worked at an upscale private school has lost her job after being accused of let's just say having an inappropriate relationship with a student who is either 16 or 17 years old. She was arrested and charged. Now how often do we see this happen in the news? Where a female teacher or counselor has a relationship with a student in high school. Sometimes as young as middle school and even grade school. How often? Pretty much every day you can find new cases of this popping up. And I'm pretty sure these female teachers use the same creepy grooming tactics the male predators use. But why are there still people in today's society protesting to protect only women and girls against these crimes? When we can clearly see these crimes happen to people. Both men and women. And boys and girls. And these crimes are committed by both genders as well. Here's another example. Many of you may be aware there was a shooting at a YouTube office. Where it appears. And I could be wrong. Please correct me if I am. But it appears a woman shot three people. And a fourth person was injured by hurting their leg running for help. And who again did this shooting? A woman. A woman that appears to have shot two other women. And a man. A man who is being reported as her possible boyfriend. Now from reports. The three people that were shot are living. And that's a good thing. I hope they recover. And my prayers go out to them and their families. That being said. It looks like the woman that did the shooting shot and killed herself. Now at face value. And it's hard to say because we don't know everything that's going on. And it's tough to speculate. But is it possible there if the two were indeed dating. That maybe he left her and she was upset. Or was there an affair happening. It's tough to say. I'm sure the investigators are going to look into all of this. But what are we told in our society? We are told that women have to be afraid of men. And that women can only be victims of domestic abuse. Yet you can go to YouTube right now and find video after video of women smashing a man's car with a hammer. Women trying to run over the men they are dating or that they are married to. Video after video. There are so many you won't be able to watch them all. But here's the problem. We are told it's only men that do these things. And only women and girls that are victims. 
yet it's happening to both genders pretty much at the same rate despite what anyone says. Dr. Helen Smith said in her practice. She was counseling a man that was in a wheelchair. That was being physically abused by his wife. And Dr. Helen Smith thought it would be easy. That she would make a few calls. Get him into a shelter and maybe some legal help. Nope. There was no help available for him. Simply because he was a man. She was appalled and was shocked. And Miss Erin Peetsy who many have heard me talk about before. She's often said. Just follow the money. And that those that have these organizations that protect women and rally against men. Don't want the truth to be spoken. Majority of it all comes down to funding. Yes. That's right. The money these groups get for all of the projects and things they are doing in helping women only. Not helping people. Helping only women. Right now pretty much all of the funding goes to women's groups. That's why there's only one. Maybe two places for men to get help in the United States. And any time a new one opens. It's protested and quickly shut down. Because they know. The minute such a shelter becomes popular and known. Another one will pop up. And another and another. And very quickly the data will show this is a people problem not a gender problem. And instead of all the funding going for one side, it will be shared between both sides equally. So here we are. One bad evil happening after the other. And the ugly truth is. People commit evil deeds. People meaning men and women. Not just men. But it's not in the social and financial interest of some out there to share this ugly truth. Now here's one more example I want to share with you. Roseanne the actor slash comedian was on The View. Now. I was never a big fan of Roseanne and didn't watch her show. But for whatever reason. I wanted to see what she had to say on The View. Most importantly what type of questions the hosts would ask her. And here's the one thing that grabbed me. Joy Behar asked Roseanne if she was still with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend of 16 years. It was a happy moment and they pretty much were congratulating her on dating this guy for 16 years. And that was it. Now why this struck me. And my female viewers please listen to this one. Because what I'm about to say has to do regarding the biases out there. And what a lot of men have been talking about lately. And it also has to do a lot with the videos I talked about how the marriage license isn't biblical. It's a business contract that was developed in the modern world marrying you to the state. And it never existed in biblical times. Well. Many men have noticed. When a woman is very rich. Especially if she's been divorced before. Where she had to pay out large sums of money. No one in regular society. And no one in the media or Hollywood. Put pressure on these women to marry. Actually quite the opposite. They almost act like the woman is doing what's right to protect herself in some instances. Well in Roseanne's case. They were very happy and congratulated her. But never asked about marriage. Now I want to ask you a question. What if it were a man that was being interviewed? You pick your male star. Here's one. Russell Crowe. And in case you aren't aware. He was in the news recently for auctioning off his entire watch collection. Watches that have memories for certain events in his life. This auction interestingly enough is happening right around the time divorce terms are being reached. Let's say Russell was being interviewed on that show. And they were asking about his girlfriend. How much you want to bet they would mention marriage to him. Or any other man. Regardless if they lost big in a divorce or not. And this is something I will talk about deeper at another time for you to understand more about this. But the ugly truth is. There's a false narrative to break the back of society. And how they do it is by making it hard for good people to connect and stay and function together. It's that simple. And it's all done with half-truths and lies about who's doing what. And who is the real victim. And to constantly feed more people to the beast system. 
the reality is we can all be victims to this stuff. All of us. Everyone one of us. No one is immune. No one. This is why speaking up and changing the narrative is a must. Changing the narrative to the truth. Well that's all I have for now. I hope everyone had a blessed day. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.